Doug Johnson with Old Men Stories. Uh, I'm sitting here with a friend that actually I met this year, yes, Pat yes, Wilson. We just met. And she's an exceptional songwriter. I've heard some of her songs live on, on stage and she just does a beautiful job of writing. Thank you, Doug. And we're going to talk about keeping it simple. Yeah, all right. And what is this song about? I was getting ready, I was actually frying chicken, or frying potatoes, not chicken, in my kitchen. I was thinking about a recording session I had, which was to begin the next day. And I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of time to involve in this project. And so as I'm stirring the potatoes, I'm thinking, i got to keep it simple. i got to keep the music simple. i got to keep everything simple. And I thought, hmm. So while the potatoes were frying, um, honest and truly, I sat down at my kitchen table and I wrote this song. And it's, uh, it's a cowboy song. It can be called nothing else. It is, it's about a cowboy and, his, his, and me and uh, why well, I love him. Oh, okay. And uh, I haven't heard this song. Uh, Few have. I have not used this song a lot. So. No. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to hearing this song. And uh, like uh, myself, you've come down to Apache Junction, and this is the longest that you've stayed down we here? We were here the same length of time last year. But it's, it's uh, last year we were just really getting acquainted. We first of all had to learn our way around the park that we're in. And so, and, didn't, and I didn't know musicians, I didn't know very few people except Old Men Stories group. And um, so this year, we, we got our feet wet last year. This year, by golly, we knew what, where to go and what to do. Well, I've, I've been coming down here for three years uh, to this uh, area, Apache Junction, but this year is the first year that I met uh, Old Men Stories. Uh, I was crew. fortunate last year. Yes, and uh, so I really enjoyed working with them and, yes. and uh, learning from them. And uh, yes. I've learned a lot from them and from you listening to you on, on stage and uh, actually on the interviews. It's I a wonderful, them. wonderful, wonderful project. Old Men Stories is, is something that especially songwriters yeah. appreciate so very, very much. It's interesting, uh, I go to festivals in Canada. Uh, I'm from Edmonton, uh, in Alberta, Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go to festivals all over the north. Are these special festivals where they have the competition of the songwriting? There, through the years, I don't know how many different festivals all around the, the Mid Plains area that I attended, a good share of them have gone by the wayside, unfortunately. Um, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, a songwriting competition was more or less expected at, in, in, as part of the festival program. Um, I don't know what happened through the years, but most, a good share of the festivals have discontinued the competition part of their festival. And, um, uh, but I ended up, songwriting was one of the very best things I could do at a festival. I ended up with many, many fine songs simply because of, of the competition. And I would never have written yeah. some of the songs I've written if yeah. it hadn't been for that. It's really, really interesting to me because the uh, competitions are not competitions. The festivals that I play in, in Northern BC and Northern Alberta, don't have any uh, uh, songwriting competitions. What they have is they call a band scramble, mm -hmm. and they put, draw all the names of the band out, and they put four of them yes, together, yes. and then you have to do songs. And so we do band scrambles, but I've never been to a festival where it was songwriting. I really enjoy that. Yeah, it, to like do I that. said, it is a, it's a uh, challenges yes. the songwriter mm -hmm. uh, when you're given something definite that you have to write about. It's a challenge. Yeah. And it's good for you. Yeah. And it's it's a it, good way to, to, to wake up those gray cells that have gone to sleep. Yes. Okay, and uh, uh, we're talking about uh, keeping it simple with Pat Boylson uh, on Old Men Stories. Mm -hmm. 